Welcome back to Area DMG. I am your host, Hope Wesley, the Mile High Mile Land today. It's a box from Limited Run. Um, there was a shipping label thingy up here. I took that off. I took off part of that one too. And I was like, you know what? It tore off part of the line, so I add the lines back in, and that was like, limited rum. Which is, whenever they have some stuff that sells out immediately, I'm just like, why is the rum gone? The limited rum. I know, that's a terrible joke. Hit like on the video. Thank you. Anyways, uh, that's this. Um, I know what's in here. You don't. Dun, dun, dun! Yeah, here's that. Forever physical. I love it that these people put out, like, physical Switch games for me. Oh, yeah, it's a Switch game. Like, like all I buy from them are Switch games, like Grandia and stuff like that. And Let me grab a, a knife real quick, and we'll open this puppy up. Um, here's a knife. It's got, like, a, a skull in it. And, like, I guess it's a Reaper of some sort. Yeah, I have a ton of these things just hidden around the house. Uh, mainly, I am like the John Wick of these things, and if anyone were to come through, they'd be like, I've got too many knives! You're like, no, why am I now full of holes? You're like, you, you tried to break in, it's your fault. Anywho, these are mostly for, um, I have a ton of these things, because you never know when you need to open up a package. That's what these are, these are package knives, nothing else. Anywho... I love how it looks kind of like a, a dragon dragon warrior monster hunter weapon, don't it? Yeah, it is perfectly balanced, as all things should be. Anywho, let's, uh, let's, wait, did we just miss and, like, cut through part? Yeah, we did. Huh, anywho, let's, um, close that out. Put that away. Into the knife zone. I'm not saying that I've got dozens of those. Boy, I may have dozens of those somewhere along there. Like, I swear, every couple feet in this apartment is a knife hidden somewhere. Somewhere. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. Anyhow, limited run. Let's go ahead and open it up. Limited run. Bum, 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 bum. We have packaging paper. Very good packaging choice. Let's run our hands through it. Oh, paper, you are so fun. And you, you are so Doom 64. <laughs> oh man, wait, 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 wait. Okay, so Night Night Trap, Shantae, Limited Run Games, Greatest Hits, Command and Conquer, Streets Rage 4. Mm. Well, let's see what we got here. Got a bunch of these myself. Um, shoot, which ones? I have Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. I need to pick these two up at some point. That one I'm missing out on. I need to pick it up. Got Celeste. Bare Knuckle 4. You know, Shoot to Rage 4. Grandia Anthology took forever. And it was so worth it. Shantae and Seven Sirens is pretty good too. I wonder when the uh, other Shan the first Shantae game is going to make it to the Switch. I... This is kind of cool, but I honestly... I don't really care. I mean, I know they put a lot of effort into these. And I eventually do read them. But right now I'm putting it over there. Ooh, Doom 64 says 144 and we have a Cyber Demon. And then the limited run stuff over here. Run, limited, run, Detimil, limited, nur, meep, up, up, mood, 4 6 mood. Um. Lake Saif Reverof. I may have opened up a portal to hell, and I'm so sorry. Not really. <laughs> Doom 64. Here's a back. To heck with you. 
Take the fight to heck. With Doom 64's triumphant return, fight against bad things in your cruise the can we say crusade? In your jaunty fun time to hunting sounds up violent, uh to meet the matriarch bad thing and stop hex uh incursion as you uh poke through more than 30 action-packed levels. Be on the lookout for enhanced pokey things and shooty things and secrets to help you put in definitive finishing to the um, bad thing. Um, what's a better word for threat? Uh, to the demonic poketing from Bethesda. F mod nine and F mod Ed and uh, Night Dive Productions, but yeah, um, Doom sixty four. Let me go ahead and open this up again. There you go. Who's a good knife? You're a good knife. I'm a good knife. Anywho, let's go ahead and open this part up. Yay! My apologies for the rambling and for the weird little cut in a moment a moment ago. I was like <laughs> battery sometimes, and then also like some of these things have like weird limits. Anywho, Doom sixty four. Boop, boop. Make sure you charge your batteries, kids. Anywho, Doom sixty four. See this nice red background? It's like a Fortnite skin. Anywho, here's a a thing about the story so far and then a little bit about what's in there and then mmm that's funny Bethesda is now owned by Microsoft and they have this is the game pack mmm it tastes like revenge revenge for your bunny you know that the whole thing with Doom 64 is that you have this space marine who was put in this thing, he's all like, oh, this is super annoying. Then he gets to Earth and he's all like, these people, they hurt my bunny. The entirety of Doom is about the Doom guy, this Marine, this internal um, warrior, the Demon Slayer, the Doom Slayer, taking out all these hordes of heck over a bunny. It's it's all for the bunny, okay? Thing is, you just don't mess with people's pets, okay? Otherwise, they go all Doom 64 on you. This is a good game, and uh, I was like, I gotta support this physically. I like this game. This is fun. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna throw some money at you, and I did. And I, I regret nothing. I like Doom. I, li I mean, the first time I played Doom was... Uh, the original PC game, I was at a power zone in, I think, Rammstein, Germany, on base. Yeah, it's Rammstein. And I was in the power zone, and they had PCs set up, and this was on one of them. And I was like, oh, I'll try this out. I was like, oh, this is pretty decent. Sitting there playing that with the, with the uh, mouse and keyboard. Well, not really a mouse so much. You're just playing kind of with the keyboard. And one of the sales associates goes over there. It's like, hey, you having some fun with that? I was like, yeah, this is pretty good. It's a little better than Wolfenstein. Because it is. And uh, <laughs> he's like, oh, hey, check this out. And he puts in like a little God Mode code. Gives you all the weapons and all that stuff. I'm like, oh, this is great. Then a little bit later, I'm sitting there just playing this, having a good old time. And he comes back. He's like, uh, I think you're too young to be playing this game. And I'm like, oh... Man, and I I had to step away from it. <sighs> People being responsible adults. I mean, think about it. If I'd have played Doom back then, I could have been completely warped in my stuff and been like, Whoa, I can't tell reality anymore. Whoa, ah, you know how that is. You know, you can't tell reality, and then you're like. Doing, you're doing dirks, and then you're like, 
um, playing the violent video games, and and then you're all like questioning, you're like questioning things, and you're on Twitter all the time yelling at people, and then you're all like, I am gonna vote then things that are not in my best interest. Woohoo! Yeah, you just. It's a bad, dark path you could go down. I mean, I did. Yeah. No, actually, I didn't. I, I, I like this game. I, I, I don't know anybody who played Doom or Night Trap or Mortal Kombat and had issues with violence or tempers that they didn't already have. So, there's that. Honest to goodness, I mean, shoot, I've got a huge ton of knives. <laughs> that's the worst it turned out? Debt. Yeah, that's a thing, too. Oh, we all got, like, student debt or credit card debt, all that debt. You know? <sighs> I should start streaming. Anywho, Doom 64. If you like this game, hit that thumbs up, the share button, the subscribe button. And uh, ring that little bell so you know if I whenever we have a brand new video here on Area DMG. Until next video comes out, you are now caught up. Morning, Maya.